face of uh, mobility in the country. I'm going, I'm going to be your moderator, Pavan. I'm just coming. Hi, pleasure to have you here with us at the India, India Today Roundtable. Pavan, uh, tell us your story. I just heard uh, that you have uh, initiated multiple startups and finally came up with Rapido. And we believe that after multiple, uh, multiple companies came up with ideas of bike taxis, all of them failed. You managed to keep Rapido not just to survive, but also thrive uh, in this climate. Yeah. How do you do that? So I'll just uh, give a quick uh, background of the story. One of the cornerstones uh, for which I've started my entrepreneurial journey is to create impact. Like people start for fame, money, impact, and multiple reasons. My reason was impact. And my previous business, which was aggregating trucks, we were raking in great revenues, close to a million, uh, six crores annually. But we started seeing that we weren't touching a lot of lives. And for me, if there's a, something called legacy, it is impacting lives. I have been personally inspired by Dhirubhai Ambani, who said, I'll put a 500 rupees phone in every farmer's hand. And people called him crazy. But so he did. That, that, that is my base. So I wanted to do something that can impact hundred, not just millions, but hundreds of millions of people. And then we, my, I started my hand with uh, Rapido. The one thing different uh, with which we have approached Rapido while all the other competitors didn't is, our, our base was we wanted to make sure that this opportunity is accessible to anybody and everybody in the country who has a bike and time. Right. Whereas the rest of the people who wanted to take a shot at bike taxi, they just wanted to create a business. They just wanted to put some vehicles by themselves, either owned or whatever it is, and just run a business. However, for me, I realized the true impact of bike taxi is decentralization of jobs, right. which is one of the major problems that this country is facing as of now. As of today, if you, if anybody in a small tier town, now we are all sitting in Bangalore and Delhi's of the country and talking about uh, the economy, the situation and everything. But think about something in Mysore, Hubli, mm. or even Patiala. In these cities, the, the access to opportunity itself is not there. Forget competition, the access to opportunity itself is not there. Now, if these guys want a better life, they have no other chance to but to migrate to big cities. I've heard uh, Sri Amitji sort of telling, I, the metro line is going to go from 7 to 65 yeah. to 100 kilometers. But when the migration from other cities is happening so rampantly, the infrastructure just can't keep up. And the way to deal with the situation is create jobs right at their hometown. We call it decentralization of jobs. Take jobs, not bring people to where the jobs are, but take jobs to them. And that is what we have done with Bike Taxi. As of today, we have created almost 60 lakh jobs wow. over the course of eight years. And every year, every month, we are creating 1.5 lakh new jobs. You know, that's fantastic. So you, you clearly you have a vision here. But Pawan, if you could tell us your challenges. At, at, in a, uh, Streets, you, first of all, safety must be a huge concern. Yes. There are so many restrictions. In fact, there was a lot of fight against uh, bike taxis itself, which you yeah. managed to push through. Yeah. Uh, so so when, you, when it comes to safety, how are you instilling that kind of trust among people that Rapido is a safe option? And for women as well. Yeah. So a uh, couple of things. When we started, like I've said, we just didn't want to build a business. We want to create or establish this category. The funniest part is, rap, uh, by India is the home to the largest two-wheelers in the entire world. Yes. Right? We are the largest exporter. We have all Manufacturer. Manufacturer, 20 crore bikes for 140 crore population people. In a way, you can say that almost every family can have or already has a bike. But we are not using this infrastructure to create a transportation solution. That's funny. And 
the free the why because this perception of bike is not safe yeah it's usually not bike is not safe it's the way you drive a vehicle is that depends that determines your safety however we did not want to sort of uh, beat around the bush we said if people think bike taxi is not safe i'll tackle it head on what we started this was even before any of these uh, other established ride sharing players came up with ride sharing insurance rapido was the first one to come up with ride sharing insurance yeah if anything happens to you in case anything happens to you during the ride it can be a small scratch to whatever it is the ride is insured the right. ride is insured and not just that this is just the uh, post post uh, post event measure but precautionarily what we do is right from the way you are captain we call our drivers as captains right from the way you are yes uh, right from the way your captain drives to the way he takes a steep turn to the way he does a brake we track everything we have a telematics uh, team that is working on it every feedback that we that is being recorded and any subjective feedback we take from our customer and we sort of immediately act on it you know uh, women safety i mean or rather women trusting uh, a brand like rapido to sit on a bike are you going to be encouraging women riders as well uh, how does this work for me uh, it's not a matter of encouraging it's one of my core principles one of the big uh, pr proudest stories that i all usually talk about is this women called uh, silam yeah uh, she is from guwahati she is a single mother and unfortunately she, she lost her husband during covid and her her kid studies overseas with limited skills and no options she has picked up driving and she turned to rapido wow. now she is supporting her kid's studies by doing rapido and the kid is studying at cambridge university for me these are not just stories these these are these are aspirations of these are aspirations of small town people and the way i see it if india wants to become a superpower i don't think it can just fight with maybe seven or 10 bangalore and delhi of the country we need people from these small towns we need people people from coimbatore patiala selam siliguri all these guys to aim high and then fight i mean you're clocking 1 million rides a day and that's that's a feat and the and the most interesting and the best part 50% of the rides are not in the top 7 cities wow and where does it come from you you name a, these these come, these actually come from where our roots come from my my father is from guntur and i guess uh, my team's uh, guys come from haryana me ek chota sa gaon we are everywhere there right from the northeast corners of the country to the southern southwest corners of the country so you know then one would ask you don't need scale at all i mean you of course you you need you need to know how to ride a bike but that's that that's this. that that's that obviously we have a background verification process but that is that is the power of bike taxi that i see with the penetration of internet in all the small towns now literally all that guy can do or needs to do is just download the app go through our background verification process and he can earn and the best part i'll tell you this is flexible for me the biggest constraint has been uh, which is very different in western countries is if a farmer's son wants to help his father in the morning and evening he should be still able to get a job in the afternoon and night or if a mother wants to take care of her kids in the morning and evening she should be able to have a source of income during the rest of her time but there are limited opportunities like this yeah. in in india and they come with a lot of constraints but with bike taxi all you need to have is have a bike and a couple of hours and you are you are on your way to financial independence that's a, that's what great income for families small income uh, does it is there growth for for a rapido rider <laughs> uh, small income so this is this is a funny thing uh, our our captains who are doing almost 4 to 5 hours a day okay part time they earn around 10k and the guys uh, and the captains who pursue this as a uh, job opportunity who work around 10 hours a day 
they earn up to 25k a month 25k and the minimum wage of the country is 12k so we are not just creating jobs yeah. we are literally improving their quality of life you know pavan how are you uh, finally how are you contributing to the exchequer i mean you are creating jobs you are creating income uh, what are you giving back to the government the economy um, from your words in your words yeah so uh, i'll tell uh, i am sure a lot of uh, people here know this interesting fact out of 140 crore population which is one of the biggest in the world india has only 8 crore taxpayers and one of the reason i believe is verifiable income with because we being an online platform all the 60 lakh people that we have onboarded we have automatically verified their source of income wow which is close to 10% of the taxpayer base already and as a bike taxi industry altogether it's much more than that and these people these captains over the course of past 8 years they have had earnings of close to 15000 crores and these guys are directly contributing to the society and to the tax and the development of the nation and the platforms themselves they have over the course of past few years they have contributed to 2000 crores to the revenue of the states and the country that's excellent you've really changed the face of transport in india uh, a final word from you uh, you yeah go on you wanted to say no I, i i was just saying uh, i don't think we have yet changed the face we the funny the thing is we are this is still the tip of the iceberg and i just need to look to my side china and indonesia where the penetration of bike taxi is around 70 80% we are currently not even under 10 we are under 10% so whatever numbers whatever impact that you we are looking at it's just the tip of the iceberg you've really uh, fought uber ola apps of such kind to to make your way um, even auto rickshaw drivers we believe at at this point are upset rapido is taking away our business what what would you like to tell them uh, the, the, i guess that's a grave misconception and uh, the funny part is now my left eye if it is bike taxi my right right eye is auto 50% of our uh, rapido gmv comes from auto but the thing is see i'll tell you simply the moment the moment the fellow indians stop purchasing a vehicle because they can get they have access to good transportation system yeah or the moment when you take an app or uh, whichever mode and you are able to get a vehicle i'll stop tra- solving the transportation problem but that is not the reality the reality is the population the economic activity is developing at such a rapid pace the infrastructure is desperately trying to keep up so here what we believe is we are not stealing somebody's pie we are just catering to the ever increasing demands of the traveling population you're uh, contributing to convenience yes right a uh, 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 f- a final word on the side hustle that many of the rapid uh, rapido riders do you know some some times you could run into uh, trouble waters what about that then sorry yeah. you know a lot of rapido riders we believe have side hustles you know like, yeah 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 so i mean that is the beauty of our story which is why we co- don't call them as drivers they are captains they have their <laughs> own social life they have their social image i have met some of the most uh, amazing individuals who are driving rapido right. these can be software engineers who are working at uh, companies like us uh, snapdeal or uh, these can be people who are hr managers or these can be ex retired team uh, ex retired military personnel and we in tamil nadu we we have this initiative that we are already developing across the nation people who are physically handicapped this guy govind who's who's uh, sme got uh, wiped out during covid now he is literally using the same vehicle that he used to take to work to make himself financially independent and self reliant wow i just am inspired by the way they come go fight through life and fight for their own uh, self reliance and financial independence and that gives me a lot of pride fabulous thank you very much pavan i think you've inspired us really with your uh, grit and and the way you've pursued this concept of a bike taxi i think rapido has flourished 
am the first one to uh, in this space. So all of 31, Pawan there, the co-founder of Rapido, a big round of applause. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you for so having me. Thank you so much, Pawan.